Hi, welcome to my channel. Go to another world. Hashtag Japan. I'm Taki, a national licensed tour guide for foreigners. Thanks for tuning in. On my channel, I take you to another world, mainly Western Japan, including all the capital cities like Kyoto and Nara. I was born and raised in Osaka in the western part of the main island. In fact, I've been living here all my life. So, I'm sure I can show you many wonderful tourist attractions and the historical and natural landmarks. I would be so happy if you could find something useful or interesting through my videos. Alright, let's get started. So today, I'm gonna take you guys to the Abeno Harukas, located in downtown Osaka. It's a 300 meter super tall skyscraper and a beloved landmark in Osaka by tourists and locals alike. Let me tell you a little bit more about the Abeno Harukas. You probably go there. This skyscraper opened in 2014 and had been known as the tallest building in Japan until last year. The observation deck is called Haruka 300, offering panoramic views of the dynamic city of Osaka as well as far off into the surrounding region from the ancient capital city Kyoto to the modern stylish city Kobe. It is a surprising space where you can experience the feeling of walking in the air. Isn't that great? I included a short video with information about how to travel and what to eat. And stay tuned until the end for a special highlight video of Osaka at night. Please enjoy it. So, without further ado, let's go to another world. The Abeno Harukas. It takes only 45 seconds to transport you to another world. Embark on a high-speed elevator journey from the 16th floor to the 60th floor, where a breathtaking panoramic view awaits as soon as the doors open. Here we go. On the north side, you can see the view towards Kyoto. You can catch sight of Umeda's towering skyscrapers. You can also see some historical landmarks, including Osaka Castle and the Stenoji Temple. The western view from the top floor is nothing short of breathtaking. You can take in the stunning Osaka Bay and uh, catch a glimpse of Awaji Island in the distance. The view from about 300 meters above the ground is truly awe-inspiring. This bird's eye view offers a unique perspective on Osaka's rich history and modern architecture. On the east side, you can see the view toward Mount Ikoma. The trucks of the JR line and the Kintetsu line stretch far into the distance. As you shift your gaze toward the south, the cityscape transforms into a sea of residential buildings. This building is a mixed-use complex comprising retail spaces, offices, a hotel, an observation deck, and more. A 
as the sun begins to set. The sky transforms into a beautiful canvas of colors, making the sunset a must-see event. However, because of its popularity, the west side can get crowded during sunset. So, it is a good idea to arrive early to ensure a prime viewing spot. If you are not a fan of crowds, don't worry. The beauty of the Osaka skyline at night is equally enchanting. The whole area is dyed orange, and the outline of the buildings against the fading the light of the sky tomorrow. You can't afford to soak in the afterglow of the sunset. The highlights are far from over. It's the beginning of a fantastic time of day when the sky darkens and the lights of the city become more intense. The timing of the transition from twilight to night is also beautiful, so it would be a shame to miss it. When the sun sets completely, you can see a stunning night view below. The cityscape that changes with the passage of time is indescribable in its beauty. The top floor features a captivating indoor corridor surrounded by floor-to-ceiling glass, offering a remarkable sensation of walking in the air as you take in the stunning 360-degree views. This skyscraper incorporates the latest disaster prevention technologies to enhance resilience against natural disasters such as earthquakes and typhoons. The construction of this building also utilizes the latest environmental technology aiming for energy efficiency.
Hey guys, welcome back. How did you like the Abeno Harukas? Now, the Abeno Harukas is the second tallest building in Japan. We know it's gonna be the third tallest one very soon. However, it will be still one of the few super tall buildings over 300 meters in Japan. And also, the beauty of the Osaka night view is amazing. I remember that one of the flight attendants flying all around the world said that night view of Osaka from a plane was far the best for her. If you have a chance, I highly recommend boarding a plane to or from Osaka Itami International Airport at night. If you can't, go up to the Abena Harbors. I'm sure that you'll have a wonderful time there. On this channel, I regularly take you to another world, mainly Western Japan, and also show you some local restaurants, bars, and cafes I highly recommend in special editions. I also have an Instagram account, go to another world Japan for my daily vlog. I constantly post very short videos regarding the amazing scenery and the exquisite dishes. Be sure to check it out. If you found this video informative, don't forget to like and subscribe. I hope you'll have a wonderful trip to Japan. People are a little bit shy, but warm and friendly, and the food is fabulous. I look forward to traveling with you physically someday. Finally, I'm going to mention a little bit about the next video. Next time, I'm going to take you to another world, in a town in the northern part of Kyoto Prefecture. Ine is a town with a population about a little bit less than 2,000. A total of 230 border houses line the coast of Ine Bay. Giving the fishing village here a distinctive beauty found nowhere else in Japan. Alright, thank you so much for watching today. Please enjoy this highlight video of Osaka at night following the previous daytime Osaka video. I'll see you guys again soon. Bye for now.
Yeah, yeah, yeah.